everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. You're probably wondering, what in the world was that, Mr. Hino? That was our new class competition called Swept Away. So we're thinking about a broom. We're not gonna use a broom. We're gonna be using our EV3 robots. It's a class competition, it's super fun. If you guys wanna see everything about it, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay guys, so Swept Away, is actually a modified version of what we were doing with VEX. We were using the metal robots to actually move uh, green, these spongy balls, off your side and onto your opponent's side. But I thought, hey, why not do that with EB3 and able to use our Commander app, the LEGO Commander app, to have the students control their robot to push wiffle balls from their side to the other side. I'm gonna go over all the details. Let's go to the table. Okay guys, so we are at the swept away table here. If you guys don't have a first Lego League table, I would highly encourage you if you're a teacher of robotics to get one. Um, I don't know if there's a place where you can buy it, but I know there's instructions on how to make it. I have one, I have two, and I have three tables. If I had the room, I'd have a fourth one. These are so resourceful and with my students, you know, they're all over the place as far as, you know, what they get done. So I need these tables so that way students can go to a next table for another project while others are finishing up, you know, another one. So anyway here, we got this wood here in the middle. I use this for war uh, when the robots were tossing things over the wood. Here, it's going to go through these windows in the wood. And so let me show you real quick what I did when I was putting this thing together and getting this um, fastened to the table. Okay, so I'm taking that wonderful magical 3M and I'm basically just going to be putting it on each of the pillars here to get this stuck down to the table. So, you know, you can use whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to do just to get this to be stuck on and I got more I got to get done. Okay, so here is the objective. Uh, you can make up your own numbers, but there are 10 wiffle balls on each side. Um, I, my goal was to have this be a 2v2, but you could obviously do a 1v1. It depends on how many students are ready for this. And the objective is to sweep the wiffle balls off of your side onto the other team's side. So to, to win, you would either sweep all of your wiffle balls onto the other team's side or we time this after three minutes whoever side has more wiffle balls on it they lose um, I have two team I mean two members on each team so we just split the three minutes one one minute and a half and the other driver drives one minute and a half just so that everybody gets to participate so it's a really cool project um, they learn certain strategies of, you know, sometimes they'll block, one robot will block a hole and the other team will have to, let's say all of their wiffle balls are here, they'll have to try to get them to the other side. Uh, so we don't necessarily have any rules. The robot can be any size. They just can't use expansion pieces. They can't use more pieces than their kit has. Um, and, you know, gameplay here, we, let, we just let them play. There really isn't any rules that we have as far as you can't block or you can even toss the ball over if you had to. Uh, but most of them have, you know, they figure out that going through the windows is the better option there. So now let's go and go to the video that I've taken of my students playing Swept Away.
Okay, guys, so that's it, swept away. That's a really cool competition because the students have to control their robot, figure out what's a good attachment to collect all those wiffle balls, and how do they get those through those openings to get it on the other team's side. Then you have to think about strategy, like, hey, does one team plug up the hole? You know, how do we get the, the balls that are all smushed in that corner? How do we get them out and through the hole? So there's a lot of strategy, a lot of teamwork involved, like you guys do this, we'll do this. So it's just a fun, communicative, strategy type class competition. So hopefully you guys can, you know, modify that, do that the same. Hopefully you guys have a first Lego League table to do that on. It was really fun, it's really cool. I can't wait to get more of my students involved into that competition. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.